is our Tin Man doll. Packed away in these boxes is one of the greatest collections of Wizard of Oz memorabilia anywhere. Rare books, photos from Judy Garland's estate, and one-of-a-kind merchandise. If only it had a home. The All Things Oz Museum had to move out of its old location in downtown Chittenango last month. Somebody has decided somewhere that we do our best work under pressure. A building just down the village's yellow brick road was donated to the museum as a permanent home. It's much larger, but needs a lot of work before the museum's collection can move in. We have to do this in phases, but um, there still is a lot to be done for phase one. <laughs> Through the generosity of the Chittenango community, the new museum is off to a great start. We were donated a furnace. We were donated a, a handicapped bathroom, labor included. We were donated carpeting. We the ruby slippers wouldn't work here, but the Ostravaganza directors are hoping some good witches will help the museum in its journey down the Yellow Brick Road. Any wizards out there, any good witches, um, if you want to drop a house of money on us too, that would be all right. The Chittenango Ostravaganza weekend will start June 6th. The directors say they need about $20,000 to have the museum ready by then. We can display more of our stuff. We had to do a lot of rotating before because we just didn't have enough room. The All Things Oz Museum's motto is, where Oz all began. Now, the museum is ready for its own new beginning, and there is no place like home. For now, reporting from Chittenango, I'm Alex Dunbar.